Hi, this is Tablet Store UK, and we have not one but two WinPad IO 10 inch ruggedized tablets running Windows 8. And the difference between these two units is that the unit at the top here is configured with a Pixel Chi screen, and the unit at the bottom has got a regular screen. Now, the regular screen brightness is 350 nits. The Pixel Chi screen I don't know if you can really measure it, but to be perfectly honest, the screens are near identical, indoors, ambient light, and with the brightness turned up on both of them. Uh, the Wimped IO has a brightness swipe here, so you can turn the brightness up and down, that's maximum brightness. And as we take the brightness down and eventually hit the bottom, that's with the brightness off. There is no backlight on that screen whatsoever. On the regular screen, as we take it down, it gets down to a sort of uncomfortable dullness, but the camera can adjust, and eventually the backlight goes off, and all you're going to see is the reflection of the camera. So, on this device, you've got to have a medium brightness to be comfortable indoors, and outdoors, you would normally try and pump up the brightness to try and fight the sun at its own game, but it never works. With the Pixel Chi screen, to increase the brightness outdoors would be a waste, you wouldn't really notice much difference as you'll see in a minute and what you do outdoors is you take the brightness off and you'll get a better contrast even than we're seeing now outdoors with no backlight based on reflection rather than trying to emit light to beat the sun in terms of the quality of the screen I can see no real difference between the two uh, some people say that Pixel Chi screens have a little less saturation or a little dull compared to regular screens, which normally people aren't bothered about given the benefit of having sunlight readability. I can't see any difference in that. This is a pretty colourful start screen with windows with different images and coloured tiles. Let's go somewhere colourful. There is a tiny bit more brightness and saturation to the regular screen. Really only a tiny bit. Actually looking at the camera screen, the camera seems to pick it up even better than my eyes pick it up. I can't detect as much of a difference as the camera seems to be emphasizing with its various auto modes. But for argument's sake, let's say that the Pixel Chain isn't quite as good indoors. But you probably wouldn't care. Okay, so what we're going to do is go outside, we'll keep them laid out like this, so the device at the top will always be the Pixel Chi device, the device at the bottom will be the regular screen, we'll play around with the brightness on both of them and show you that that doesn't really make any difference on either device in good sunlight. It's late April here in London and we're very glad to have some sun. So let's go and play with these outdoors. This is with low level light. If I increase the brightness, you get a little bit more colour. But it's barely noticeable. Actually, it gets better with stronger light. And the eye doesn't see the clouds as much as the camera does. On this device, what the camera sees is what I see. In fact, I see even more of a whiteout on the regular tablet brightness at maximum. The clarity on here is good, contrast is better than uh, I'm not seeing the clouds so much. It's interesting what the camera picks up. But I could definitely see what I'm doing. So you can just about, just about see the elements on the standard screen and it's not even terribly bright right now but you do have the clarity you have the contrast to see everything on the pixel chi screen it's just desaturated in the sun but you can see what you're doing and you're not getting blinded by the reflection okay the sun's just uh, really come into force so in fact it's so strong I can't see a thing on the screen I can't even see what's on the camera screen on the pixel chi screen I would say it's better. It's actually a lot better. It's now extremely similar to e-ink. It looks like I'm reading something off uh, a Kindle screen. It's got uh, 
it's got crispness and uh, you, you really actually got to see it to believe it because I don't see the clouds as badly as the camera is picking it up um, the contrast is excellent and this is with brightness completely down so the battery saving is enormous and turning the battery up in this brightness I can't see that it makes any difference so the backlight is doing absolutely nothing it is purely a reflective screen at this point rather than a light emitting screen and the regular screen which is still on maximum brightness I have to stare with the camera to one side to see if the screen is still on, it is we're at the Windows 8 screen that's the desktop but you can't see that whereas you can see what's going on here I can't see how well the camera's picking that up because the sun on the camera screen means I can't see the camera screen either. We are browsing our own website, but in full brightness, that is brightness of the sun, there's no brightness on the tablet, and I can see everything I'm doing, I've got distinction with the, uh, with the contrast, I can see writing. In comparison to the same thing I hear, I can't actually see what I'm doing on here. That's it's loading up msn.com. That's the MSN homepage, believe it or not. I mean, there is no way with this level of brightness, no matter what I do, what camera trickery, even if I completely, if I completely shade it, but still can't see. It's too bright. On here, I need to make no effort at all. So, desaturated colours, that's our logo, which is two-tone blue. But the point is, is that we have clarity, contrast and visibility in direct sun. And it's warm enough out here that I'm outside in a t-shirt and getting pretty hot and it's now quite sunny. End of April in London. The camera from this angle sees a little more like what I'm seeing. Same page on the other tablet both on the MSN homepage.